people are also becoming more vocal about organizations becoming more socially responsive, being more socially responsive, and that is having an impact on brands and organizations. Tell us how that's happening and how organizations can be more proactive about this. I, I think more than ever, consumers and customers are going to be looking at companies and the brands that they patronize from a behavioral perspective. And, you know, what's interesting right now is, you know, we've got a situation where, you know, the government is pulling back from involvement in certain parts of our lives, environmental, for example, or other kinds of things. Um, and I think consumers, we're going to see them, we already are, looking at corporate America to fill that gap. So um, it's, it's a huge responsibility and an opportunity for companies to um, align themselves around issues that touch people's lives that are really important, um, that are aligned with what they're about and support them. So you know, you see companies like Starbucks doing it with hiring the military and their practices around growers and, and how they source their products and things like that. It's huge. You see other companies really stumble because of conditions in their factories and things like that are out of alignment with the, you know, the value system that's here in this country and they get in trouble. We've seen it time and time again. It's a responsibility for sort of iconic societal brands to, that they ought to be taking on. Alignment is very, very important. And you can see it um, really help brands and you can see it really um, give them a black eye. So, I mean, we've had this recent um, ban on travel or, or it's, it's, it's being forced through the courts, we'll see how that goes. And you saw, you know, this, uh, you know, the CEO of Uber, who's got all kinds of problems, but he was part of that group that ostensibly is supporting that kind of a ban. Meanwhile, tens of thousands of his drivers are from countries that could be impacted from that. So that was completely out of alignment from you know, what that company's all about and the values of their workforce. And so, you know, he sort of withdrew, somewhat embarrassed. You'll see, on the other hand, Elon Musk um, or Robert Iger from Tesla and uh, Disney saying, you know, we support the Paris um, Accords, you know, and we're a company that is all about the environment and realize that it has long-term imp importance and we're not climate deniers and things like that. So they withdraw from the business roundtable, and it's very, very good for their brand. So it's a really important topic. It's not going to go away. And societal brands, big brands that everybody's aware of, they need to own that and figure out where are we going to stand on which issues. And if there's not alignment, stay away.